What's up, MMA fans? It's Tudor Leonte for Short Dog here. And today I have the pleasure to talk with PFL 2021 light heavyweight finalist, Mr. Martin Hamlet. Hello, Martin, and welcome back on Short Dog. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. Um, we already talk uh, this year once, uh, I seem to recall. Um, and um, yeah, what have you been up to, <laughs> up to in, in the yeah, meantime? Yeah, we were talking like in June or something. Yeah, yeah, I believe uh, it was after your first fight. After my uh, first fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm good. I've been training good and um, I'm ready for the, the PFL final. So, yeah, exci excited. Are you still in the United States? Yeah, yeah. I'm in, I'm in Miami now. Uh, but I did went back after my second fight, so I've been preparing for the, the semi-final. I prepared in Norway, and, and the same with the, the final, I prepared back home. Uh, did the PFL, you know, lose a little bit uh, its restrictions? You know, I uh, when we spoke the first time, uh, the promotion didn't allow uh, overseas fighters to travel to the uh, home country. Uh, how, how is the situation uh, right now? The situation is good, but I think the, the were a little about the, the regular season, about the point system and everything. So I guess they wanted us to, to stay there to, yeah, you never know what ha what's happening. But now I think the Norway have control over the COVID situation as well. US also starts to have control over it and all the vaccination and stuff like that. So I think, uh, I think now it's good, but we still need NIE to, to get into the US me on my corner so but the pfl arranged everything so yeah it was good to go yeah it's it's good to hear that the situation is slowly going back to to normal hopefully it will improve again in the future and we we'll return to our you know old life yeah. and normal yeah, life. yeah. <laughs> the uh, sad thing about it is like i see us will open 7 of november Mm -hmm. So that means not so much Norwegian fans uh, will be at uh, at Hard Rock uh, in the final because of the restriction. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, yeah, it, you still have to be a little bit patient. Uh, next year, I'm pretty sure you'll have the chance to have lots of uh, screaming Norwegian fans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, need to, we need to bring them over to see. <laughs> Um, listen, in your latest fight, you faced Cesar Ferreira, but the, the fight itself had quite a bizarre ending. A few seconds into the fight, uh, your opponent kicked you before collapsing on the canvas, holding, mm. his, holding on to the hamstring. Mm. What did you think in, in those moments? I mean, how was the fight from your uh, point of view? It was like... It was the toughest opponent I faced, but I had so great a uh, training camp. Everything was going so well. I was very, uh, very, um, what's it called like, um, yeah, I believed in me. I was confident for a victory. So my plan was there to, to go out there and actually start with a kick, as I did. And then, then start because I know he's he he likes to have the control, and when he and when he's not getting the control, he gets a little stressed. So, so I forced attack from him, and and then I see he grabs to his hamstring. I knew, okay, this is uh, I I can end the fight here. So, uh, but it was like I start punching, and I didn't get the 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 shots i wanted in the ground and pound so then i i i see like the four <clears throat> four last shots i i pick it a little bit where to punch and uh, when i did that then then you knew that yeah it was a good experience for me because sometimes when you punch a guy down and you're going to finish him you you are stressing and when you're stressing you're not uh, you're not doing things right so that was a very good experience for me but I'm sad the match ended like that for just 30 seconds because I'm pretty sure I, I will have the victory anyways, but I, I believe it will be a very good fight. I mean, it is what it is. At any rate, nobody can contest you. 
you know, you earn your spot in the fi- in the finale. And now you are scheduled to face another Brazilian, Antonio Carlos Jr. on October the 27th. Um, what do you think about him, you know, as a fighter, obviously? As a fighter, he's a good fighter. He's uh, He's been going through UFC. He's been going good season in PFL. Um, I think the match between him and Sordi was very hard. I can't I can't um, tell who won, but uh, but as a fighter, I think uh, I think um, he will be a good opponent for me. Uh, like his style, I, I like his style. Uh, it matches good with me, so I believe it will be a good fight. Yeah, I actually wanted to ask uh, you about this. You know, uh, a fighting style when you see a wrestler against a, Bra- a Brazilian uh, jiu-jitsu guy uh, is always interesting as far as I'm concerned. Um, have you have you already faced uh, BJJ guys in, uh, in in your career so far? No, but I have been training with uh, a lot of good guys and we have to think about Brazilian jiu-jitsu, it's not MMA. Wrestling, it's not MMA. We have to mix it up. So, so I I, I respect uh, his his record in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but when he faced me in that cage, I don't I had have no respect for his earlier things in the career. So yeah, yeah yeah. Of course, you are totally right. I obviously meant your background background, just not. Uh, you know, obviously, as yeah. a, an no, MMA, I'm, I'm I'm never faced like I faced a lot of good uh, jujitsu guys, uh, but my plan is not to 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 grapple with him. You know, it's uh, if I'm not going to to go in position and grapple him for 25 minutes uh, without punches and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> Because when you start punching, the grappling will be different. When you start wrestling with punches, the wrestling will get different. So yeah, I like I like the I like the whole thing. For sure, for sure. And uh, I'm uh, really waiting to see uh, your fight. Um, as I, I'm waiting to see actually all the all the card, um, all the matches on on this card. And um, right now, I'd like to hear a few picks from you uh, for the remaining championships. Um, the first one um, is uh, that I want to ask you is, uh, do you pick Chris Wade or Kai Bulaev for the Federal Championship? Oh, uh, I think it's it's a hard fight because Molid looks so freaking good in his semifinal against Brendan. So uh, and and Chris Wade is um, you never know with the Chris. I I think he's been better better every fight. He really impressed me. Uh, against Baba and um, but I think I think uh, Maulid will be just little uh, too good uh, and he will take it but uh, but to, to explain it, uh, differently Chris Wade he have a good physique he have a good mindset so if he have has his day it will it can be uh, um, both ways you know but then he have to he have to be his absolute best. He have to do his absolute best fight. But maybe he do it in the PFL final. I hope I hope it for him. And what about the lightweight championship? Uh, Haush Manfio or Loic Razabov? Um, I think uh, Loic will will take it. Uh, yeah, I, I I believe he will take the the um, that that uh, million dollar and gold. Okay, moving forward, we have Ray Cooper the third versus uh, Magomed Magomed Kerimov. I I I, um, I saw the first fight from them uh, yesterday, and uh, if if it's a five rounder uh, and and nobody gets knocked out, I I believe uh, maybe Ray Cooper can take it uh, because. <laughs> <laughs> he looking dangerous, and he had a very good fight with uh, Rory, so probably he will he will uh, take it. Moving up again to the big guys, uh, Bruno Capelloza or Ante Delija. 
I'm uh, I'm in same management as uh, Antes. I'm really hoping for him, but I see Bruno this season, hard punching heavyweight. Um, but but Ante really impressed in against Golsov because Golsov is very very good, and yeah. um, and uh, yeah, I believe maybe Ante can take the rematch in the five rounder. Three rounder is hard, but the five rounder Ante I have conditioning so. Yeah, uh, he will. He, he can make it. And the last one. Uh, um, what about the the girls, uh, uh, the women? Sorry, um, Kayla Harrison or uh, Guardado. I think uh, that fight. I think uh, Kayla will take it. I hoping it will be a good good fight. Like it will be nice to see if Kayla can get. Mm, not problems, but it, it will go um, like she will have some, she have to perform very, very good to beat. But I think Kayla is so, uh, so stable and so good right now that she can, yeah, I think she can face wherever she wants women on the earth and, and still and still be the champ, you know. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Thank you for sharing uh, with us your picks. Um... I would like to, to discuss a bit your future uh, with you. If I know that obviously right now you are focused on the upcoming fight and uh, uh, that's, that's fine, that's okay. But let's assume that you sign with PFL for another year. Um, tell me a name you would like to face in the 2022 season. Hmm. I, I don't know who... That will join the join the the roster next year, but like yeah, Sore is it's a good name. Chris Camos is a good name. I don't know who uh, Caesar is a good name. So all these guys, uh, maybe a rematch with uh, Corey if he signs. Um, you know, I have to. I, I want to go back in that fight and, and make it right <laughs> for my head. <laughs> but he's a good. He's a good guy. He's a very good. Uh, athlete, but I, I, I believe we will face again. And if you could pick someone from any other promotion, who would it be? Mm, I think uh, in in the light heavyweight division, I think uh, I see Corey Anderson is is doing well now, so he will uh, he will be cool to to face. Well. That will be quite a challenge. Uh, obviously, uh, as I said, I, we are talking for uh, you know uh, for hypotheses, for assumptions. Um, but uh, are you currently considering taking part in the 2022 season? Yeah, I, I really love uh, PFL, and I, I feel like this is my home, and uh, I believe I will have a great future here. Um, have have they already offered you a new contract? No, we haven't got to, to that point, but uh, we have a good communication and, and good connection. So uh, with, a, with a championship uh, belt, I believe it will be a, be a good next year. And, um, but you will, and you will probably see me here in PFL. Yeah, yeah, I, I just, I'm just asking, you know, just making yeah, rounds. Yeah. rounds. <laughs> yeah. uh, before I let you go, do you have any last message? No, I just tune in uh, on uh, our fights. It will be a great event. And um, yeah, hopefully a lot of action. And in my fight, a lot of action as well. So you can follow me and uh, and, and follow my career uh, the, next, the next years. Martin, thank you very much for your time. I wish you best of luck with thank the you. championship uh, fight. And hopefully I will hear again from you in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great Have one. Have a nice Bye. day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.